My name is Tommy Wilson. I'm the Ranger Coordinator on Mornington Island uh, for the Wellesley Island Rangers. We are based in the lower Gulf of Carpentaria. This was a, a, a new project for the Wellesley Island Rangers. We started this project back in uh, 2019. And the reason why we started this program is there wasn't any recording or information of shorebird in the lower Gulf, especially around the Wellesley Island region. It is very important to protect the migrating shorebirds that visit our country. We want to protect them from animals, locals, but most importantly, making sure they are relaxed and feeding and making sure they get enough food supply to travel back up north. There are many different species of uh, migrating shorebird that visit the Gulf, uh, particularly around the Wellesley Island and the Mornington Island uh, region. Also, they do have a cultural connection to the local traditional language group in the Wellesley Island, the Lardell, Cardell and Yungal people. In particular, one bigger wader bird that has a long beak, which we call Kuatu. It is the Far Eastern Curlew. So the Kuaku, they are now critically endangered and we're afraid of the species disappearing for good. All the shorebirds within the lower Gulf and around the Wellesley Island are important to the traditional owners. Growing up on Mornington, um, I noticed a lot of these birds. I mean, I noticed them in big flocks. As I grew uh, as an adult and, and hunting around the islands um, and the Wellesley and particular Mornington, anywhere on the sort of south side, there were a lot of fires and curlew on the south and north side of the island. Not until we did this particular survey of all our migrating shorebird that I didn't, I, I realized the kuaku, the fires and curlew was on the endangered list. Seeing that bird, like I said, a lot back in the early days growing up here, make me wonder, okay, what's going on here? Seeing it on the critically endangered list, well, that's that kind of um, uh, boost our our interest more as from a local perspective, the, the traditional owner's side to the Western science as, as, as the, the Wellesley Island Rangers uh, shorebird project where we did the studies on um, these birds or survey around and see how much, actually how much kuaku, fais and curlew um, are in our region. The numbers, the numbers vary in areas, but we, we, we are seeing lesser kuaku than we used to see before in areas where there were flocks of them, you know, and that's, I guess, that's part of our survey um, methods now, um, just changing it up. This year, we're going to try and see if uh, during our, our, our migrating shorebird this year, get as much numbers off the kuaku, the fires and curlew, um, just to make that criteria in a flower way. Yeah, so we do uh, two types of survey. Um, we do the, the low tide survey where all the shorebirds are out there feeding. So, um, we, we go out, get some counts of the species of um, uh, migrating shorebirds are out there, um, where it's, you know, down from a, a little uh, great to sandy plovers, um, a little um, stints, fires and curlers, wimbrels, great knots. So there's uh, um, a lot of, a lot of, um, I didn't realize how much um, migrating shorebird species there were out there. There's a lot. And the other one is on the roosting on the high tide. So where we find them all um, together roosting in, in areas. So 
uh, we get to, um, uh, you know, uh, get some numbers and identify what species are at, at these uh, roosting um, areas. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate uh, these little birds, um, the, the migrating shorebirds. Um, ever since I, I started, um, you know, doing the Western science side of things and knowing um, uh, where these little birds come from. Um, and I've, 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 uh, I've built a very, very big respect for them because uh, to see how far they travel for a, you know, from a small bird to a big wader bird, um, they travel, they, they, they travel a long way just for a feed. Protecting feeding grounds, making sure and educating the local community about, you know, protecting, looking after the shore birds in the area, making sure that they, they do have um, enough food feed. So sign in key feeding areas where there's no, you know, no interruption, even from a uh, family walking, you know, a person walking their door, they don't let it off the leash and go and scatter and start these birds. You want them to save all their energy because they do got to fly a, a long way north. We're trying to reduce the pollution on our foreshores and in our areas. So, you know, try and remove all these uh, plastic bottles, um, ghost net, all sort of marine rubbish that could potentially harm our shorebirds, but also um, our, our marine animals that we have in the Gulf of um, and around the Wellesley Island. Having wild cats in a key well-known roosting area for migrating shorebird um, it's a big worry. Well, we know what a cat's like. It's um, it's a natural predator, and um, that could um, potentially, you know, wipe half of our our, our native and migrating um, birds here on the island. To to control that is have um, trail cameras set up some camera traps. Um, see how much cats in the area to record. Uh, the the main thing is making sure we've we've actually got the numbers there so we can get out and do these sort of um, surveys, but also culling to um, eliminate these sort of uh, issues now from um, our, our our migrating shorebirds, but also our our native animals here on the island. Having to start this survey um, back in twenty eighteen. Uh, we got the opportunity to invite uh, one of the shorebird migrating shorebird um, expert over to um, to do some training on and identifying the shorebirds. So we got a a, a well known um, shorebird expert uh, by the name of Roger Gents, who came out uh, for a week to do some on ground surveys but also teach us um, how, how to identify these shorebirds. So from a bigger shorebird to a really small little shorebird. So um, which was really interesting to, to know the different methods and, and ways around um, identification of um, each species of shorebirds or migrating shorebird. As this training progressed and you know, we got out on country. Um, it was a good learning both side through the Western science side, but also cultural side. Roger, the, the bird expert, he was more interested in my local language name for each species of, of birds. Yeah, so, uh, and this is something like me and Roger Jens was actually talking about where have the Western science name and then we have our local name and what it is and what it means you know um in our language and have them emerge together culturally and western science yeah you know it's good i always think uh marrying the two up you know make it stronger i guess having the both together right <laughs>